sweep, sift, and style. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my moving day and a few days after that. This is the day after the move, and this is what we're having here. We got some last little bit of clutter, tools, random vacuum <laughs> attachment, cleaning products in the kitchen. There's a vacuum cleaner, random ladder. So you can tell this was really, really um, happening here. All right, so today is Friday and we are back at the house, the modern cottage. As you can tell, there's still boxes, little odds and ends that we are trying to clean up and organize and sort through. I know for a fact the linen closet is still filled with all of our um, like personal hygiene products. We still have dirty clothes hampers in there. We have a few things um, still to either decide to bring with us to the Airbnb where we're staying or to go ahead and put it into our storage unit. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour of what we're looking at today. And hopefully <laughs> in a little bit, it'll be a lot better um, because tomorrow we're having our professional cleaners come and do an empty house um, cleaning. And so we have to make sure that the house is clear for them to do their thing. So let's take a look at the state of this house now. Okay, so this is the entrance. I already have some stuff that I pulled from outside, a shovel ladder. Here is all of our motion lights and security system that was uninstalled from outside. Here we're gonna have all of our internet, modem, Google Home kind of stuff. Um, and then this was our front living room. It looks so different, completely empty. We're leaving that beautiful, ooh, see, I'm hitting the boxes as I went behind. So this is, this is it guys, it's really, really really something it's almost surreal that we had like all this furniture and our bookshelves and all of our books and decorations here so this is now the view um from the dining room to the front door and this is where we had our little entrance table with some artwork hey Havana. Just like what's happening okay so this is the dining room as you guys know from the previous moving vlog this is where the homeschooling station was with the bulletin boards our dining room table so this light fixture is also staying and this is where I had my ladder shelf that I used to have my bar on so I have my little vacuum cleaner there charging so that way actually no it's not charging I need to do that hold on oh here I have it plugged into the charger all right, so the kitchen here, everything has been removed from all of the cabinets. The fridge actually still has food, unfortunately, so I have to clear that out. And all of this is just miscellaneous things that I literally am just gonna make a box and put it in there. Um, obviously, anything that I need to throw away, I'm gonna throw away. I still have some random candles. So I might bring, I don't even know if this is still good, um, this these are still fine i have some fruit i'm gonna bring back to the airbnb with me and obviously this is fine i you guys will see when i do my next video um what i actually brought to the airbnb just to make it a, like a really cozy stay so that's for the cable and then here we are completely empty back family room it is as you can hear there is a huge echo i just cannot believe that this is just, I don't know, guys, I mean, it's kind of, it's emotional, but like I was telling my kids earlier, I don't feel sad. It's just like, wow, this is the end of this chapter. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not emotional to the point of tears. It's just, it's still a little sad, you know? It's still a little sad that, um, that this will no longer be our home in a few days. Once we close, I mean, 
Savannah. Hey, you okay? I know that she absolutely loved this room because as obviously for all of the windows she could, it was almost like being outside, but inside with the air conditioning. So she used to sit on the bench here and just bark at squirrels and iguanas and um, any kind of natural life out there. She would, she would love to like um, bark at lizards. I mean, the randomest things, guys. <laughs> The, I would say the best, the very best, um, like very interesting animal that we had in our backyard was a mother peacock with a little baby peacock. I'm gonna see if I can insert the little video here so you guys can see it. The cutest thing, I've never even seen a baby peacock in my life. And it was here in our backyard, so that was pretty cool. All right, so moving right along. Baby, so cute. Look at the baby peacock. You can't even see this in zoos. Like, how did they get inside our yard? That's how. How? He flew on his head. Yeah, but how about the baby? Are they gone yet? About well, to be. Yeah. The mom flew up the fence and she's waiting for the baby to fly. Oh my god. Can the baby fly up? We can't keep a peacock. No, Look at it. Oh, Aww. it's trying to fly. That mom better not abandon it. Yeah. This is the laundry slash kitchen. <laughs> before the professional company comes. So it's still a lot of things to handle. I didn't realize it was that much stuff. Okay, well this little jokester over here continues. This is what I'm talking about. As far as the bathroom, I need to take this down. I need to empty this vanity. And this is what I'm talking about as far as the linen closet, all of this either needs to go to storage. I think storage is gonna be um, the answer. However, like I already took some hot tools that I need to take. Um, I usually use a blower brush and a curling iron. Um, so I have that, but I am gonna take a few things out of like first aid, maybe some Neosporin and Band-Aids and things like that, just in case we need it. And maybe some like children's Tylenol, um, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe a thermometer just in case in the event that we might get sick. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. So all of this will be going to storage as well. And uh, yeah, dirty clothes will have to come with me because can't leave them. Okay. And then this is my daughter's room. This is what we have left over to do. Pillows and my few clothes that I had um, hanging up in her closet. So as you can tell, pretty much this room is almost empty. Um, and look at this one over here. What do you think, Coco? She's sleepy. She's sleepy, aww. All right, so that's it for this trip um, <laughs> here at the Modern Cottage, what we did was we cleaned up the rooms and we I kinda got a sense of what else needs to be done tomorrow. Um, since like I said, it is Friday, so it's after work hours. The kids finished school, I finished work, and so whew, I'm like sweating here. But um, yeah, so the, the boys ended up um, organizing whatever we had still in the fridge, looking at expiration dates, and then sorting it out, we threw what we're not gonna eat at the Airbnb out and we're keeping the rest. It's in the back of the SUV. We have even all our dogs with us. Um, but yeah, and so until next time, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helps reduce the amount of overwhelm or stress that you or maybe someone you know um, is maybe experiencing due to them being in the same place of moving and closing on one house and buying another and just the ups and downs of 
moving house. All right, thanks again for watching. Bye, until next time.